If you could press a button yeah. and it, it robbed a thousand random people on the planet of ten thousand pounds from their bank account and just gave it to you, what's that, mil? Ten thousand pounds. Ten million, ten, ten million. Ten, so you get ten, 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 ten mil, mil, you get yeah. ten mil. Would Absolutely. you press the button? I just want everyone to know that you you won't see the wave video because Harry pressed space. That's <laughs> what it was. It's a, when I'm clicking my when my OBS is selected instead of the thing and I smack the space bar, it just stops. Yeah, and I just want you to know that the wave video was unreal. We could watch it again. Do you want to watch it again? No, 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 no. I'll no, watch the okay. wave video. Well, I want to no, see no, this. Toby, 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 Toby. <laughs> but his fabled wave video is going to be like the missed video of the side of the Sad men miss. Just watch the heist. We're here for heist today. Let's okay, go. let's get it. Right, right greatest it. heist of all time. Even if we don't condone them, most people I are think generally the one fascinated this year was the, uh, with heists. Movies the Twitter, like Ocean's Bitcoin Eleven one, and they have Sting. Oh yeah, that was the because it's Bitcoin's untraceable, bro. Don Moore's way around the world mills. enjoy watching. No, he got caught. Did he? He was a seventeen-year-old, bro. Yeah. Huge piles yeah. oh, of cash and jewelry. Oh, someone snitched on him. But sometimes yeah. these elaborate crimes occur outside uh, of the world of fiction. Today, we're looking at the five greatest heists of all time. Yeah, that was a good game. The Ooh, Antwerp. Antwerp Diamond District is one of the most heavily secured places in the world, Ooh. with billions of- Toby, I've got a quiz question for you. Why me? Which co which country is Antwerp in? Belgium. I think you're wrong, but you might be right. No, I think it is Belgium, bro. It's be it is Belgium. Okay, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh. Dollars okay, of diamonds Aaron. changing hands there every year. <laughs> Maybe wave videos are for you, bro. <laughs> one gang of thieves pulled off one of the largest diamond heists in history. Now, even though most of the gang, known as the School <laughs> of Turin, <laughs> have been arrested, <laughs> never been retrieved. The robbery was led by Leonardo Notar Bartolo, a small he looks like a diamond deal, you know? tenant of yeah. the Diamond Center, and a thief responsible for many minor jewel robberies. Although police believe he was the robbery's mastermind, he claimed that he was contacted by an unidentified diamond dealer who recruited him for the crime. Notar Bartolo <coughs> said he was paid to take pictures of the vault's complex security system. Ooh. From those pictures, the dealer constructed a full-sized replica of the vault. Notar Bartolo states that the dealer set him moves. up with a small Maybe. gang of Italian jewel <laughs> thieves, each with specific skills for the robbery. The Bro, this is not GTA. Yeah, this of the yeah. truth of this sick. anonymous diamond dealer. However, no proof has been found to support this claim. The thieves oh. got through the 10 layers of security, previously what? thought to be impenetrable. I don't get how you they even do that. Cameras, like, surely at the some combo point. dial, the keyed lock, wow. magnetic sensors, If you've got like six, steel six gate, smart light people sensors, that are good at heat and motion their fields, sensors, and keypad and disarming sensors. You can they do used it. aluminum to trick the magnetic field and stripped plastic what off the, the wires of the sensor circuits. Then they loaded up bags of diamonds and other jewels. It took two hours to get it all out of the building, <laughs> but thanks to one gang member, things eventually fell apart. That oh, man was Pedro Tavano, known as Speedy. Tavano, you divvy. You've let the Tavano, gang down. you fucking ruined the whole thing. Notar Bartolo's lifelong friends. Speedy couldn't handle the pressure. After unloading the loot into this car, he had to pull over because he was having a panic attack. Oh, Remarkably, oh, a single alarm went off. As security guards rotten? arrived on Monday morning, they realized that the thick steel door to the vault was open and 100 of the 189 safe deposit boxes had been raided, <laughs> with some of the loot still on the floor. The world's Bad only man. specialized diamond police, Patrick Pays and Agim de Breiker, phoned the vault's alarm company. What is the status of the alarm, they asked. Fully functional, came the reply. Oh. However, authorities eventually <laughs> so they found actually Notar banged Bartolo it. Yeah. by watching security footage. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Oh. Brazilian bank. Oh, bro, is that it? Only one million. Only one million. Brazil's police arrested Only 16 one got men tunneling towards yeah. a vault containing wow. 1 billion this is reals, 318 or 318 million, this one as well. million dollars. <laughs> and who were fuck? on the verge of pulling off the largest ever bank robbery in the country's history? Authorities what? swooped just before the alleged gang was able to use its impressively equipped tunnel to enter the safe at That's a crazy. Banco do Brasil branch and in they the love their financial South capital. Yeah. It would have yeah. been mm -hmm. the world's biggest heist, said police chief Fabio Pinero Lopez on Globo TV. Police said work on the tunnel That's began mental. four months ago, starting from a house several blocks from the bank. Uh -huh. It had sophisticated supports, fans, and lights. The police believe Alcio Seal Gomez. Yeah, they, they don't fuck around, mate. They have like train tracks and stuff. They like, they get on these little mo mo motorbikes and drive through them. Who is it that we were talking about the other day? The the bloke that fucking escaped behind the toilet. El Chapo. Yeah, El Chapo. Bro, Chapo was in tunnels, bro. <laughs> Chapo was <laughs> out here so in tunnels. Nutty. Yeah, it's mental. The ringleader of the operation. He is a 35-year-old 
year-old man implicated in an attempted robbery of a security van in Paraguay. The court ruled the group be held in pretrial detention. Though it's hard to believe, the group dug the tunnel by hand. They loaded the soil into sacks and carried it outside through an underground stormwater drain. No to way. enter the tunnel, gang members descended a two-meter ladder from one of the rooms in the rented house. The tunnel was about 1.5 meters high and was reinforced with iron beams and wood and even wire Bro, these with wires. The walls were lined with plastic garbage bags to reduce the dust. The tunnel was <laughs> reportedly what? filled with food, water, special clothing, and digging tools. These Police were trying were probing to get whether the gang had the assistance of an engineer when building the tunnel because the construction was so impressive. The tunnel <laughs> renewed memories of a tunnel robbery 12 years ago when they thieves made off hatch. with a fair 70 million they US couple, couple dollars. Spades. For the previous heist, diggers worked in shifts from 8 p.m. until 4 a.m., taking a break on weekends. The three gang members involved in that attempt were involved in two separate prison escapes using tunnels equipped with ventilation and lighting. Fucking 500 hell, million man. dollar Ooh. cyber heist. I feel hard to be Starting smart. in 2009, yeah. China, cyber criminals from Eastern Europe infiltrated oh, at no. at least 100 <laughs> banks in 30 Maybe countries. Don't go for China, please. I'm sorry, China. China. I'm sorry, China. <laughs> China. <laughs> transfers and hijacked ATM machines over a two year period. They That's did mental. so with a mysterious Trojan called Spy Eye. The attacker struck at Russian banks first, as well as those in Germany, China, and the United States. Nah, they got away China. with it initially, but soon <laughs> authorities tracked them down and they were brought to justice. Alexander Androvich Panin, the inventor of Spy Eye, who went by alias Rybodemon and Harder Man Online, pleaded Harder guilty man. to a <laughs> of conspiracy to commit bank and wire Harder fraud man. in January 2014 after reaching a deal with prosecutors. Prosecutor Stephen Grimberg said Spy Eye, a preeminent piece of malware developed from 2010 to 2012, was used to infect more than 50 million computers, for causing nearly $1 billion yeah. yeah. in damage. They do that. They they get Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah. Institutions around the world. Mike's a second it. man, Hamza Bendelaj, a 27-year-old Algerian known online as BX1, <laughs> was sentenced to 15 years. Prosecutors <laughs> said he sold back. versions of Spy Eye still online in pen right now. and used the malware Free to steal financial way around. information. <laughs> Spy Eye was a type of Trojan <laughs> virus that secretly implanted itself on victims' computers Spy to eye? steal sensitive information. Wait, what, and what, what the fuck? It's very funny, isn't it? Spy is that stock footage? <laughs> to steal sensitive information, <laughs> including bank account credentials, credit card information, <laughs> passwords, and pins. But once it took over a computer, <laughs> it allowed hackers to trick victims into surrendering personal information, Jeez. including data grabbing and fake bank account pages. The information was relayed to a command and control center to be used to access victim accounts. Wow. Pannon conspired with others to advertise Spy Eye in online cybercrime forums and sold versions of the software at prices ranging from $500 to $10,000. Jeez, Jeez. FBI that special right. agent Mark Ray testified. That, yeah. Pannon was the architect of a pernicious malware known as Spy Eye Spy that infected computers Spy worldwide. Eye. He commercialized the wholesale theft of financial and Harder personal man. information. Developed and spy now eye. it's being held to account for his actions. U.S. Attorney Sally uh, Yates. If you could press a button yeah. and it, it robbed a thousand random people on the planet of ten thousand pounds from their bank account and just gave it to you. So what's that, a mil? Ten thousand pounds. Ten million, ten million. So you get ten mil, you get ten mil. Would absolutely. you press the button? Absolutely pressing it, yes. I'd press the button. I'd press, I'd press the, button. the button. I'd absolutely I'd press, press the, the button. button. They'd never know, it would never be traced back to you just lose ten K. I, I, bro, you know what I'm doing? I'm eating a yar on the button, bro. <laughs> I'm, um, bro, I'm just gonna try and press it twice. I'm gonna press it twice. Are you bro. saying current Toby? Yeah, yeah, current Toby right now, bro. Would you do it today? Desperation, I'd 100% do it, but I don't need to. No, Toby, like Toby, Toby, if a button pops up on your desk right now, bro, I'm telling you, I'm stamping on it, fam. Bro, I'm, bro, 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 my conscience would kill me, bro. I wouldn't be bro, able to live with I'm myself. I'm stamping on it, bro. Oh, I want to say yes. Right? I want to say yes, but I genuinely wouldn't be able to live with myself. Hey, listen, you do it for me. If you men do it first, I'll do it. Oh, then. Oh, we'll, say, we'll do it first. Don't <laughs> worry. Say let's go. <laughs> Dressed in a new Harry or many police agencies <laughs> don't have the skills to effectively track down and investigate cybercrime. Tracking down cybercrime is you know, like a very up. different skill set yeah, from pants. traditional policing, which limits the ability of law enforcement to go after cyber criminals. It also takes resources and trained personnel, which are, in many cases, in very short supply, says Martin Rosler, director of threat research. They always put like, at super music in the back of the ship. Mm hmm. Francis, heist of the film. century. 
French gangster Jacques Cassandre was in court in 2018 for a crime committed over 40 years ago. Police oh. noticed the fact the Marseille Mafoso was the likely mastermind of the heist of the century after he was discovered to be the anonymous author of a book about the crime. On July 16, oh. 1976, oh, well, you criminals robbed a branch of Society criminals General, are France's third largest bank in the southern city of Nice. Now, using the tunnels underneath the city, the gang was able to partially destroy the floor mm. beneath the bank's basement vault and gain access to the bank notes, jewelry, nice. gold bars, and safety deposit boxes. But I'm trying to cop a gold bar in my lifetime, According you know. To the Society right. General's I want just one gold the incident, bar. The brazen criminals it's like 45 spent bags the weekend for a gold bar, taking their time mm -hmm. going through the vault's contents, yeah. even taking the time and luxury to picnic oh, using the bar. depositor's silverware. He used a pen name, but investigators quickly concluded that the writer was Jacques Cassandre, a key mafia Bayard. figure in Marseille. I'm going to do a there video where I buy a gold bar. Trial. He had He's still talking he about the gold the bar, bro. Was too old to be I've set my sights now for 2021. I'm buying a gold bar. It might go down in value, though, because the whole... Uh, France has nah, but eventually, bro, you know... Is it not down in value right now? Yeah, they're printing too much computer, money. And his children later confessed... Bro, it's a gold bar, bro. Soon there's going to be no gold bars to buy it. Get yourself a gold bar, friend. What if they don't can't make gold bars anymore? I heard you can get, like, mini gold bars as well. You can get mini ones. I don't want... Fuck that, bro. I want a gold bar. I want heavy, the, you know. The heavy yeah, exactly. I want a heavy gold bar. I don't want a fucking chocolate coin, bro. What I are you gonna do when you got it? Keep it somewhere, bro. Keep it in the safe. I will be. I, I warn you. If you have one, I will be hiding it if I go around to your house just to just to shit you up. No, 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 no. I will not be keeping it in my residence, bro. It'll be in a bank, my gold bar. That's like that's like cares which beer is changed. Oh yeah, it's in a vault somewhere. Like, <laughs> you need to have it in your background on like a cushion or like a, 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 a velvet cushion or something. <laughs> hey, me and my gold bar chilling. <laughs> He eventually admitted to orchestrating the intrinsically planned job that involved at least six people and 30 tanks of acetylene to fuel the welding torches used to cut into safes and safety deposit boxes. An inquiry nice. found he and had also bought furs you know. worth tens of thousands yeah. of Fucking euros. Idiot. That's like the olden equivalent. Oh! Guarantee with seven God, bar. He has always said it was a novel, and I don't think a court can convict someone on the he basis of a novel. novel. That's, a that's what they do in drill music. They say this is fiction. Ray said Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Cassandra and his family members are facing a series of questions on his business dealings, with prosecutors also alleging social security fraud and a real estate scam in Corsica. It's not Dude, his first time in court, him, having been arrested in the early 1970s when police broke Some up the French connection out here, heroin trade centered really in Marcel. Doing a lot of criminal. One million dollar pharmacy <laughs> criminal. Robber. Back in 2016, the owner of a super value pharmacy in Fort Worth, Texas, Jeez. rang in the new year with a trashed business missing one million dollars worth of pharmaceuticals. Yeah, the general medical manager, in, in James Lawler, said is the pharmacy bread. at 720 bro, North the Industrial biggest, biggest Boulevard industry in the world, was broken into in the early hours of December oh, 31st. Shit. The burglars took highly marketable drugs with a true value of up to one yeah. million dollars, yeah. she said. Surveillance footage Hold shows that. men clad in black crawling and trying to break into but a safe. She planned Spilled it or something, bottles right? and cough syrup can be seen say. in the footage oh, and what see. appears to be a safe with the side cut out. An employee named Richard Irby said the robber tied him and three employees up with zip ties. He said he didn't want to hurt anybody. Now, we sort of took him at his word, but he's still waving oh. a gun. The scary part, I never looked down the barrel of a gun before. The robber filled the bag that with narcotics and left through the yeah, door. Thing, bro. Kirby knows through other pharmacists, the robberies sure. are escalating. Yellow hydrocodone, Soma, oh, and no, Zanix are robbery. the big no. three yeah. that most of them are after, Irby said. Now, Irby wonders how long it will be before one of those crooks decides the drugs are worth pulling the trigger. The video ended up becoming extremely popular with over 4 million views oh, and shit. counting. Man! Wow. Oh, Sunday. Wow. Oh, Hydra Xanax, they're coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, Brad.